Welcome to Craft Art Collectibles YouTube channel. I'm John, and in this video, we're going to be sending one of my paintings to a new home. A friend of mine, her name's Laura. I've known her for years, um, through high school, at least through high school. But yeah, this painting, Palm Trees Sunset, found a new home. I'll tell you the story. Now, I'm on Facebook. I have uh, some old friends on there, and some of you will actually see this video. So, yeah, you guys know Laura, you guys know me, and you knew, uh, well, you guys knew that we all hung out, everybody hung out. There were so many people that hung out, it was unreal. But we just happened to be friends, and she was one of the people that I corresponded with when I was in basic training in uh, my AIT, where I went to school. Okay, I uh, went to basic training in Fort Jackson, South Carolina, and Aberdeen Proving Grounds in Maryland for my AIT. I studied uh, guns, <laughs> plain put, guns. Different, various weapons, um, worked on two different uh, uh, styles of mortar. Uh, gosh darn it, I don't even know what you call them anymore. Things that uh, launch the mortars, after a tripod, whatever it is. But yeah, while I was there, I mailed her some pictures. Okay, she posted these on Facebook. Okay, now I made a deal with her that if she would mail them to me, I would give her a painting. Not knowing anything about how she found them or why she kept them all these years but good thing she did because there's some good pictures in there um but yeah so i told her that i'd give her this painting now when i did that this painting immediately came to mind immediately it just immediately came to mind so i sent her a picture of it on facebook and she was like oh wow great you know and then she kind of filled me in the reason the why she found the pictures after all these years because it wasn't like she had these and then you know she knew where they were at she she came across them looking for somebody else's stuff um we won't go into detail about that but she basically ran into these on accident now, she was looking for some information on one of her friends, one of a girlfriend, okay? And apparently, she lived next, next to the ocean, or close to the ocean. So, this just happened to be, I don't know why. It was almost like a, a connection, immediately. So, she was all, she, she's happy. And it's coming to you, Laura. Hope you like it. So, yeah. All right. Then another weird thing. All right. Not remembering actually where I got the photo. I knew I got it on uh, G+, because I was on G+, for years. And uh, a friend on G+, actually posted... Uh, this picture it's an actual picture i have it upstairs it wasn't a painting um turns out the lady's name was laura just weird coincidences so yeah i'm gonna be boxing this up now i want to show you this is an oil on canvas and I do believe this is probably about uh, I don't know, like 18 by 24, something like that. I mean, I don't know. I have to get my tape measure out, one of them. But yeah, this is uh, just some one by twos I ripped. Glue and nail them together or screw them together, whatever's available. I try to use recycled stuff. All right, but yeah, 
this happens to be a painter's canvas that I stretched myself and just used one of my flooring staplers. Which, this wood was really hard. Didn't want to take the staples. So, yeah. It's, it's tight, though. It's like a drum. I could make some drums. And I actually have some over here, some... Uh, So yeah, I actually signed it down here, JDR. I'm going to send a letter with it, though. All right. It's coming to you, Laura. Let's set this outside. And let's get into the pictures. All right. Now, like I said, I was, I just turned, my birthday is December 29th, so I just turned 19. Just turned 19. Now, I didn't uh, I didn't know when she posted these. I had written some stuff on here. Kind of describes what was going on at the time. Now, these are actual barracks in this picture. And you can see uh, how my bunk is actually uh, so tight you could bounce a quarter off of it. This picture says, after taking a shower, just messing around. No big deal. But you can see, I have hair. I didn't cut it all off. I don't have it now, but as long as you kept it over your ears and off your neck and everything else, you could have some hair. I had that robe for, I think one of my kids got that robe. My older kids. Let me set this over here. All right. Now, here's a fun one. I've been to Washington, D.C. several times. This one is one that we took after coming home from partying at the bars. In D.C. after a night at the bars. This one don't make any sense. I read this one. And it's just me sitting. These were our desks. And our bunks. And you can see we have nothing. Nothing. I mean, these were kind of temporary anyway. It's no uh, assignment. You're just there for school for a couple months. They actually, when you first get to this school, you end up staying with a bunch of other people in Quonson huts. Far away from this place. This is a dorm room. This is a bunch of uh, dorms. And although, you know, they're not luxurious. I'll tell you what. The Quonson huts, you know, you're just sleeping out in the open with, you know, a hundred other people. <laughs> not a hundred. There was probably, uh, I don't know, 30 or 40 people, I guess. So, yeah. You get a desk and a bunk. That's it. Oh, there is a, uh, like a, um, uh, amois, I guess. Something you can open up, store your, uh, all your military outfits, because you don't get to store any of your, like, regular stuff in that. It all has to be, and it gets inspected, too. Everything's got to be down to the inch and wrapped tight and just crazy. Those in the military know what I'm talking about. All right. Now, talking about masks. Oh, my gosh. I've been wearing masks for decades. Decades. I've worn so many masks. None of the masks work. They're never going to work. Never. 
Whatever is floating around in the air is going to float around in the air. You're going to get it. You're going to carry it. Not just you, but the animals, the in insects, you know. Come on. Mosquitoes, and they're carrying COVID. Guarantee it. Just think about it. There's no way to control any of it. Even when, uh, even when they get like, uh, you know, the plague, which uh, somehow mysteriously pops up in usually Africa or South America, usually in a third world country. Um, the the systems they got don't always work. I mean, you have to have a containment system that is, it's just, um, it's crazy. Either you adapt or you die, basically. I don't know what else to say about it, but there's no way to, there, no mask out there right now. It doesn't make a difference. Doesn't make a difference. Like I said, I've been wearing masks forever. This was taken in the 80s. And I had worn masks before that. My dad was in, uh, did body work for cars. So I've worn respirators at, by this point right here. And regular pullover rubber band masks with a little metal strip over your nose. They don't work. And most people know if you have glasses, that stuff blows up in your, uh, blows up your uh, sinus area right here. And fogs up your glasses. So, this is what they used to look like. That's me in a rucksack with one of my, uh, or with my actual um, gas mask. And those in the military remember that shit because you had to carry it on your side, on that rucksack, along with everything else. Cool pick. All right, now this one was after a parade. Now, I had some, I had gotten picked it to do some parades. Not to just uh, stay in on the field with everybody else. Because there was a lot of people that just uh, stood in, like, rows. You go out there with your whole battalion and just stand there at parade rest. Which is your hands folded behind your back, in the middle of your back, with your arm, or with your legs, spread... Uh, just under your sh under your arms, you know, just spread out a little bit, not like spread them. Just how just how he's standing right there. That's parade rest. That's how you got to stand on the field, like that. Sometimes you'd be there for hours. People would drop out. They'd fall to the ground. People would run out there and pick them up. Give me a shout out if you remember any of that. Or if it still goes on. That was our battle dress uniform. BDUs. I don't know if you can see how shiny those boots were. We had to spit shine those boots. I don't know if they got to do it now. Yeah. You'd spend hours doing that daily. Daily. Better make sure you don't have no strange strings hanging off your stuff, too. <laughs> All right, so to get back to this, uh, I'm going to be mailing this tomorrow. I'll box it up tonight. i got to do a few special things, make sure nothing punctures that. So, yeah, found a new home. I'm happy. You know, I'm not always happy uh, letting go of a painting. You know, I've only done a couple of them. Um, that I knew I was just going to give away. And uh, Mike and Kim, Mike and Kimmy, they just came and picked up... Uh, their painting, and I should have done a video with them taking their painting because they actually came here and stayed the weekend, and we actually took a video of them uh, 
going with us to the creek to pick up geodes. They took a bunch of geodes. He lives out in Oklahoma City. And he's a friend of mine. And how you doing, Mike and Kimmy? Shout out to you guys. Uh, hopefully you'll be watching the video. I'll make sure you do. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I'll be mailing this out. Now, I like to every, ask everybody that's been watching this video and stuck around for all this to su subscribe to my channel. All right? Come back, watch my videos. I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff. As a matter of fact, i got a few things sitting right next to me here that I've been working on. Well, one I haven't been working on, it really won't take much to do what I want to do with it. And that is actually uh, taking an old dryer door that has a uh, glass front. Can't see it. I know. Oh. You're not going to see it because you're going to have to watch the video. <laughs> but it's going to be cool. I'm going to turn it into a fish tank. Now, I actually do have my light box sitting here. Oops. And I am going to... Uh, do a video here shortly with this. You're going to enjoy that. I just set it up um, to where I can keep the, the front closed. It's actually on a hinge. Where I can actually pull this out. Pull this out, and the, the whole front comes off. So, you'll see what I do with that. That'll be coming up. Alright? So, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Come back and see what I got to offer. Besides, I'm getting ready to do some more work on the watermill. It's right over here. Alright? So, stay tuned.